You're about to walk out on the greatest court in tennis history. Had I been able to focus more on my tennis, for example, they have a challenge system where you have electronic equipment. I probably would have different color hair. My hair wouldn't be quite as white now. Uh, I probably would uh, have won more, I believe. I also probably would have been more boring, so perhaps this documentary that's been made wouldn't have been made. All right, just keep yourself under control. Just go play. And then, boom, everything would go out the window. Don't do that. Do not do that. Sort of looking back to what I could have, would have, should have done in certain matches, I don't think that's instructive at this point. Um, uh, and I don't think that's a good example for my kids or other kids that I'm thinking about what I should have done instead of what I did do. I mean, here we are with mental health coming more to the forefront than it's ever been. Uh, Naomi Osaka's sort of opened the doors for that more than ever. But this is, she's not the first person that experienced this. It does give you sort of food for thought more, sort of as I was sort of finishing this up. It was right, you know, I went through a, a, things where I felt it was overwhelming and difficult and feeling like I wasn't handling it well and feeling like it's too much to ask uh, to uh, an individual, you know, because it's taken me a long time to get to a place where I feel, you know, somewhat, you know, at peace and feel like, okay, you know, the direction I'm heading, I'm proud of.